This first bug fix, I never thought I would see the day. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Are you guys ready for I'm, this? This is huge. As the kids say, I am dead ass. I never thought I was going to see this bug fix. But not only did they write it in the patch notes, they actually patched it. Activision devs do not play their own game. 3,000 devs can't figure out how to add a reconnect feature to a AAA title, I guess. I don't know. Because Infinity Ward doesn't tell their consumers anything. Maybe that'll take some of the sweats away from uh, Shoot House. You can cope about that, for sure. Thanks for tweeting, at least. Thanks for doing more than Infinity Ward has done. They just keep tweeting about the fucking the soccer bundles in the store. Things that are bad. We've, oh. got, we've got a couple words. Why don't you kick it off, Tanner? <laughs> we got this is going to be a, a longer section than the first part you guys heard. Change it, obviously, of course. We are live, boys and also girls. Welcome to the Drop Shot Call of Duty Podcast, episode number 417. Rapidly approaching 420, blaze it, Cheech and Chong. My name is Casey, also known as Razanon. Today, I'm joined by Tanner for an episode of the program. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Uh and and we have a couple of things to talk about this week. This fine beautiful clear sunny Thursday with you guys. Not too much going on this week, uh but yeah. there were a couple of things in in all seriousness. Um, the big thing in terms of the Vidya game is the Renetti was gutted, which is good, W, uh, and we told you that was going to happen. W, Raven. Yeah, and then um, another thing besides that, really, is just a lot more cheating, ricochet, unlock tool discourse, which we're going to get into a little bit as well. Um... And then some stuff about Gulf War, which is the title of, or the, almost certainly the actual title of the next game, but not technically, I think, confirmed yet. Gulf War. Gulf War is going to be the next COD, yeah. So a, a little bit about that as well. But um, not too much on that front yet. The main thing was the Renetti nerf, which was quite nice. But we have some more nice. details on all of that and a couple other things. But before we... Huh. Excuse me. Get into it. We have a couple of announcements. I have like a little. Hold on. Oh, you got one of those little things in your throat. Yeah, and you don't feel it, but you just can't talk, right? You just can't talk. It doesn't yeah. come out. I. Yep. You just you your mid word, and it just your voice your voice cuts off, and there's nothing you can do. You drink water. Yeah. It doesn't always work. God, that yeah, bugs me. Yeah, work. that yeah. really, yeah, that gets me. It's really bad when you're just in the middle of a conversation with somebody and you're like, I, I, I can't. That, yeah, that was weird. That does yeah. not happen to me often, but. Must be that protein there. bar, man. You're not used to eating it before is. the pod. It's actually, yeah. Bro eats one bar. time and starts choking. Bro didn't eat. Yeah, I can't handle it. Um. All right. Yeah, first couple announcements. First and foremost, welcome to some new patrons. That's a first. first and foremost, we got a new, yeah, it's been a while. Um, our new gold patron, welcome Ashley L. Wow. She did it. Welcome aboard, young lady. The email address was a man. <laughs> so, so uh, I don't know if this is a man or woman yeah. or a joint account. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm assuming it's a guy. Um, and if your name is... Ashley is technically a unisex name, I believe, actually. Well, I mean, there is a man and a woman in that image there, so. That is true, yeah. Yeah. Is Ashley, if you're a guy, spelled diff? First of all, change it, obviously. Is it spelled differently, if that's what you're doing? I don't know how it's spelled, to be honest. I. Yeah, it's a good question. I don't know if I've met anyone, any man with the name Ashley. I know the name exists, but I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. I would think it'd be spelled that way. How else would you spell it? You know? I don't know. I've seen other spellings of Ashley, but they're all, yeah, just girls. I don't, I don't know how men named Ashley spell it. Probably just K I L L L M E. 
minus one ill. Anyway, welcome, Ashley. Thank you. Our new gold patron, or whoever you are. Um, we also got some upgraders. James M has upgraded <laughs> to platinum. JR from yeah. gold. He loved the content so much, he wanted more of it mm. and went straight to platinum. W James R. And thanks, buddy. Mm. And last and most importantly, we had some annual upgraders going from annual something to annual Damascus and saving an amount of money by going annual, by the way. Patreon.com slash the drop shot. Get a little discount. Floris, a.k.a. Other Mike, <laughs> has upgraded to Damascus. Wow. One of, one of the many other Mikes. Yeah. One of the many other mics, yes, who is in chat right now, or he was. Thanks. There are two mics in Mike. chat, yeah. We appreciate it. Very kind of you. And also, Tolar, Toller, Toller, has also upgraded to annual Damascus. Let's absolutely go. I think they were both Tolar, Platinium. Toller. I think they were both bullied from Platinium to Damascus. That. That's possible. And I think as they should be. Yeah. Was one of them gold? I don't remember. They were bullied, though. Good. W bullying. Yes. And W, Massive you w guys. To bullying, yes. And W new patrons. Patreon.com slash the drop shot. Thanks, fellas. And maybe not a fella, or but, but probably a fella. Uh, very much appreciated. Bonus episodes, early access to the all the episodes, the public ones, and ad-free episodes. Don't forget about that. And it's the best way to support the show. So thank you to you guys. Now, speaking of the Patreon, we had intended on doing an episode and having it be live uh, now. But we decided not to because the game was not in the best state, frankly. And we wanted to wait. So we're going to wait. Um, we've been playing. We have been playing some Rebirth for a while. Um, I was still enjoying it. Despite it's now now clear to me fairly glaring issues. Um, but the boys can't do it. Which I understand. They, they're getting too mad. The last time I played Rebirth, I was playing with uh, Jake and Cope. We got on in the morning. And, and you spirits got off. Were, spirits couldn't have been higher. And then precipitously spiraled downward. Yeah. Just lost full. Uh, Jake, especially, was just getting more and more mad every game. Bro, did a so rage. We were, on for like, so we were on for like two hours. And then he's like, all right, I'm getting off. And I was like, wait. Jake, wait, let's try one game of Urzikstan first. So we queued for a game of Urzikstan, got looted for 20 minutes, got loadout, didn't see a soul. And then <laughs> 30 minutes into the game, the first team we actually see, they're like top 250 or iridescent kids. They kill us. And then Jake's like, I'm done, <laughs> I'm done with this game. And then I couldn't get them back on. So then I also got off. Yeah. So anyways, w Raven. The the point is, um, we have not played uh, much more Rebirth since, like, Saturday. Again, I've played a good amount more, but um, I'm kind of... Uh, I'm not I'm not playing it solo, so I'm going to wait till my friends want to play it. So in the meantime, we've been playing some Urzikstan some more. Played this morning. Games were sweaty, but fun. I had fun this morning. Um, games were sweaty, though. And the mid game is becoming more and more obviously uh, <laughs> stale, dead, boring. We do need an increased player count. It really is that simple. Yeah. Especially when your lobby just doesn't fill to capacity half the time, by the way. So we had a game like 877 people mm -hmm. load in like, okay. Like at least set the, the supposed lobby size to 130. So that when it barely sort of fills, we have 100, which is what we have now. That would be nice. But anyway, 
despite that, the games were fun um, on Urzikstan, if a little familiar, we should say. Um, since nothing changed, of course, with Urzikstan with Season 3, except they made the buy station placement worse. We'll get into that. Um, but yeah, so with all of that said, uh, we did want to do like a Patreon episode, probably on Rebirth this week, but we decided not to. We're going to wait a little longer before we do that so that we can, so that hopefully, number one, they change it more, namely the audio occlusion issues, because the audio is very weird right now. You either hear people very well or you do not hear them at all, and that is exclusively the result of an occlusion issue, which has already happened multiple times in this game. Um, and specifically since MW3 launched, even they've released patches where they have said like, Hey, audio was bad because there was audio occlusion problems. So like you enter a building and there's a cell phone on a table, but the audio for that cell phone occludes, it blocks audio as if it were a concrete wall in the middle of the room. Yeah, that, that's, that's a real sound. issue that they've addressed. That's a real yeah. thing. Multiple times they've done that. Like they'll have one texture that's like a cell phone, again, on a table, but the game's audio system will think it's like an actual wall or like, I don't know, a duffel bag or something, and it would mess up the audio. Yeah. And they like fixed that on Urzikstan. Audio is fantastic on Urzikstan. It's even and more it's still fantastic good. Yeah. when comparing it to Rebirth. And yeah. it is still good, luckily. Yeah. Luckily, they didn't change that either with Season 3 on Urzikstan. The audio is still very good. Um, so, yeah, we want to wait, hopefully, until they at least start addressing some audio occlusion issues on Rebirth Island, because that does seem to be the... Uh, the core problem with the weird audio on that map in my view. Um, so ideally we will we'll wait until that, but um, also we had wanted to wait until the Renetti was nerfed because it was like a joke. And, and I like the Renetti meta, to be honest, I thought it was fun when I was playing with it, but you were playing with it on Urzikstan, weren't you? No, I played a lot of solo Phil rebirth. Oh, uh, Interesting. I played a lot of solo fill ranked and it's I I honestly thought it was kind of a fun little meta. It didn't last that long, it. but I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah there were it people going around just, saying it was like the worst meta ever in Warzone. I'm like, shut up. That's it that's was fun. Not that I bad, liked it. Yeah. It was a perfect amount of time for a little broken gun. I liked it a lot actually. But yeah, I um I had an audio issue when I was playing ranked. So I was playing random fill. Um, so n nobody talks, right? So my teammates were both down. They were getting fold. I was in the, the ship by factory in the water. Um, so I started swimming under, you know, I was like swimming further away. So they would come back. Uh, I'm hiding. I'm at the base of the ship in the water. I'm floating there. Right. And I, I finally got a teammate back. And then I hear two guys above me finally on the ship on metal. So I'm just sitting there. I can't stress enough, I'm sitting there. I'm not swimming, my head's above the water. There is no audio around me at all. Nobody's shooting, my teammates aren't talking, those guys aren't shooting. I can just barely hear the metal, and then I hear them like run away. And then I'm just sitting there, I'm getting ready to move. I'm like, all right, they left, because I didn't have place or anything. I'm dead. <laughs> just an I'm dead. And I'm like, what? Just got Renetti. No, audio no. Renetti. Watch. I watch the kill cam. The guy jumps off the shift, dives into the water, twelve to fifteen meters away, splashes in the water, swims up to me, cannonball. puts his gun that far from my head, and kills me. Yeah. And I just cannot stress enough how he didn't make any sort of audio at all once he dove in the water, swam up to me, nothing. I just did a death. I did a death in the water without hearing yeah. anything. So it was yeah, fun, and I'm like, and I'm done, and I'm not playing this map again until they fix the audio, because it's not fun, and it won't be fun until it has audio. Yeah. yeah. So if you enjoy Rebirth, okay, uh, but the audio issues are crazy. They're crazy bad. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, the point there is we intended on having a Patreon episode out by now, but we're we're just going to wait until Rebirth's more fun. 
and fixed hopefully and we've played it more as well uh we like getting content out early when we can but i don't want to do that at the expense of uh longevity or like relevance for the episode because yeah like we also knew again we knew the renetti was going to be nerfed really soon whether or not it was good to have it in the game doesn't matter we both knew it was going to get nerfed very soon so when we do do a patreon episode this month on like rebirth um and we talk about the weapon meta i wanted i want to record that after the gun that's about to be nerfed is nerfed obviously just so that all that info is relevant for longer. So that'll be coming uh, a lot of more episodes, I would imagine, next week. Um, and then we'll do some Urzik Stand content as well. But, you know, uh, the downside is you guys don't have a bonus episode to listen to yet for this month. The upside is once it gets released, it'll be more topical. So, yeah, apologies for that. But there you go. Um, and then other than that, if you're listening for the jingle, here it is. Fat L to Beanox, yeah. So Beanox is on the the L Dev Studio list, by yeah. the way. Yeah, they just it, that's definitely what it is. They just used a bunch of reused assets that had occlusion, occlusion issues, probably issues, that they've yeah. since fixed. But they yep. were specific to that map. W. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks, Beanox. Wars. You guys are twenty percent as bad as Infinity Ward, which is really terrible. <laughs> but no one's as bad as Infinity Ward. So. Oh! today Jesus. an episode christ we got a little patch yeah we got a, a little patch two days ago on tuesday april 9th oh, compressor working overtime over here yeah yeah you think uh and we're gonna start with multiplayer yeah so they split this patch up into two little web pages oh no yeah they did um <laughs> So we'll start with multiplayer. Here we go. Global stability, not reading it. So a couple changes that don't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Uh, people couldn't equip, couldn't quick equip weapon charms from the store. Okay, got it. Mm. They fixed that issue. That's, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Armory unlock challenges will now display a splash of... <laughs> upon completion okay i mean multiplayer is in a pretty good spot so if they're doing things like this i'm actually not that mad um by the way before we get continue getting into this the quick fix vest works and it's goaded in is multiplayer it? yeah i unlocked it you guys should use it i was uh leveling my the new sniper today while i was waiting for uh tanner to get out of his warzone match it was fast he lost um and I was using quick fix vest with the sniper and it is nice. You get a nice little UI indication that your health regen has started. It's very obvious and it's not obstructive. So it's a great UI feature um, and it works very reliably and consistently. Yeah. Uh, very good vest. Unlock it for multiplayer. It's in the armory. Okay. But anyways, um just thought i would point that out i'm glad they finally added quick fix uh as a as a perk no operators will no longer appear to have two riot shields equipped in the lobby that was the meta no. that was the meta lobby loadout man a right shield in the front <laughs> right shield on the back yeah Arr! yeah 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 so anyway a couple other little uh revised pros cons labels for some more attachments okay you guys need to stop saying this. They said this, I think, four times now. To better reflect their true properties, we've changed the pros and cons. You guys got to figure that out because you need to stop telling me you've done that. Make the properties um, true to start with, yeah. Yeah, just make it. 
work on the first time. Uh, anyways, let's see. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. Uh, yeah, so some weapon balance changes for multi. SVA was buffed. The FJX Horus, never mind, wasn't really changed. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and then equipment, let's see. Pretty much it. Not much going on there. Uh, there were a couple other little things like uh, with some other perks and equipment and kill streaks, but this was by and large bug fixes. Actually, even when you get out of that like section of the patch notes, they're just describing bugs that they fixed. So yeah, yeah. not much to talk about there. And that was it for multiplayer this week. So now let's move on to Warzone. There was an update on the tenth and on the ninth. So we'll start oh, wow. with the ninth. Rebirth Island Resurgence. Ground vehicles have been enabled on Rebirth oh, Island. Oh, let's go. Huge. That changes everything. Psych. Yeah. Uh, I've almost never used a vehicle on Rebirth, so I guess that's cool that they're in, though. Um, although, what is kind of weird, ground vehicles. Aren't choppers in... Didn't they add those as well? I don't know. It, I never skis? really saw them when I was playing ranked. Maybe they're not in ranked or something. I don't even know. Boats yeah, and jet skis I've there. seen a lot. Yeah, I don't know. So, I imagine every type of vehicle is now on Rebirth. Yeah, That's probably. what I think. But it doesn't really matter too much. But anyway, some weapon balance changes as well. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, there was like a bug with the Horus with like attachments that you could equip that you shouldn't be able to same with the evolver and same with the moors and they just rectified all of those and then there were some bug fixes as well this first bug fix i never thought i would see the day i'm not kidding yeah are you guys ready for I'm, this this is huge as the kids say i am dead ass are you I'm dead ass i never thought i was going to see this bug fix but not only did they write it in the patch notes they actually patched it and i'm dead ass here's what it says fixed an issue preventing tactical and lethal equipment from auto picking up i can't believe it i actually cannot believe they, they did, it. did it i'm not kidding i'm dead ass i did not think they were ever going to fix this issue yeah i was 100 percent convinced they were never going to fix this issue, dead ass, because it has been so long since this has worked as intended. I had originally said, like, in Discord, I was like, oh, it's been six months. Finally, when I run over a tactical or lethal that I already have equipped, it'll auto pick up. Finally. And then someone was like, "Me? oh, no, it's actually been like three months or four months oh. or whatever since the game launched and then i was like okay yeah whatever sure Still probably entirely JK, too long, yeah. but sure and then someone Wire. else said well actually it didn't work in warzone 2 either so it's actually been longer than six months i don't know how long it's been i don't remember the last time i could run over a lethal or tactical and it auto pick up and I'm dead ass. I don't know. I don't Was know there ever if it a time even in Warzone 2 when this worked. I, I don't remember one. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm dead ass. I don't remember one. So it's been at least a year, I would guess. If not a year and four months since I have been able to run over a tactical or lethal in Warzone and it auto pick up as intended. So congratulations. To Raven and Ted Timmons, we should send them an award for finally fixing this bug after a year and four months, probably. I don't know how they finally figured out it was bugged. My guess it. is a few of the thousands of devs decided to play the game since since uh, Rebirth came out and they're since all Rebirth resurgence that, gamers. Yeah. So right. they probably played one match within three minutes. One of them was like, hey. This is an auto picking up. They're like, that must have been bugged with season three when we launched Rebirth. Let's fix it. So it's fixed within a week because they started playing the game. 
Yeah, I, I think you're right. I don't think this ever worked in Warzone 2. This was one of our major, I'm major annoyances and complaints ever. the entire yeah. year of Almazra. It was that, and also in Maz, you didn't auto pick up ammo. That didn't work most of the time. That has worked <laughs> yeah. since Urzikstan came out, though. Um, but the tacticals and lethals wasn't working still. I can say that works, and I haven't had an issue with it yet. It's worked every yeah, time me neither, for me. Actually, every yeah. time. So fantastic, W, the most important bug fix we've ever received in Warzone. Um, yeah, after a after a year and a half, it's it's done. We've done it. Mission Finally. accomplished. Insert George Bush mission accomplished GIF. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, insert that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, w. I'm not kidding though. Like seriously, I did not expect this to ever be fixed. No, I was just living because with it's it. been a bug for so long that I assumed either they'll never know about it, they don't care, or it's intended. Like, I just didn't know at this point. Bugger feature, classic conundrum with Call of Duty. I can't believe it, but they did. Yeah. And that has been, by the way, a massive, uh, unsurprisingly, by the way, which is why we've wanted it so badly, this has been a massive quality of life update Yeah. for me and everyone that plays. Yeah especially smokes because everyone runs smokes. So now it's like you will actually have all the smokes you want. You don't have to manually pick them up after you kill people. Lethals, you know, not everyone's going to run the lethal you're running, but smokes, everyone will. So now yeah. I just always have smokes. If I know I've been running around and running over the people we kill, I know that I have smokes and it's so, so nice. It's been so fun and exciting. Massive W. Yeah, I yeah. I can't believe Way they finally less fixed at the floor, it. Trying to do loot, especially end game. This is this is really noticeable because end game we would get smart enough on Urzikstan mostly um, to be like, all right, we just killed this team. Make sure you guys are picking up smokes, stow smokes, or when we throw like a muni or whatever. That would take like you know three to five seconds. Every single end game, every single situation like that, maybe multiple times per end game where we would be doing that, all that time is saved now. And it's so nice. It's just so much better pacing. Yeah. So much more convenient. W never, Raven. Like, looking at the ground, trying to to pick it up manually, and then you accidentally pick up a different gun. And then you pick up a sniper instead of your AR, so your AR ammo also drops. So now it's a disaster. Yeah. It's a disaster. Because now there's even more ground loot on the floor, and you're still just trying to pick up smokes, but now you have to pick up your AR first. And then, oh, did I had AR stowed, so I got to put that in my backpack again. Just a miserable disaster, and I can avoid that now. So Yeah. yeah. There are still you a lot of other things. It's a thing, but it's not. There's still a lot of other things that should auto pick up, so maybe we'll have those by 2027 or so. Um, like if I if I don't have a self revive and I run over it, pick it up. Yeah, just pick it up right. for me. Exactly. I would like it. I would like to have it. Just pick it up for me. I'm never gonna pass one up, you know. I feel um, the same way about field upgrades too. And that one's speech. iffy because if you kill somebody and they have like two field upgrades on them, I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Well, if I have no field upgrade equipped, then and you equip one for me, that's never like bad. Yeah, it can be annoying if you run over like I don't know a trophy system when you don't want one, but you didn't have anything there before, so I'm uh, I'd rather take it than not. I can always drop it. Later. That leads to more clutter, I think, and, and like more buttons if you end up just auto picking up nonsense like that all the time. Or even like if I kill well, some guy and I already have great equipped, I mean, I know, I know. But I but then later when you want to drop it, it is just another button that you have to press because you have to drop one first. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Like if I run over well, a body, you pick up a field upgrade and you have one equipped, it just swaps it out. I'm saying so. if you have nothing. Yes. Does it swap it out? Oh, uh, yes, well, you have to like I hold down it, the button, morning. right? Or does no, it no, press? No. I don't know. You hold down to stow. Yeah, that's right. You hold right. down to stow. You press to pick up. I don't know. I don't. I don't want auto pick up, up on any of that, regardless. I'd rather just choose what I want. But yeah, but uh, th it doesn't matter. That'll never happen because they just fixed anyway, this two year bug. Is unambiguously should be auto picked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can at least agree on that. Yeah. Um, and and same with tacticals and lethals, which you do now. So giant change. I and again, I can't believe it, but. Yeah, 
So fantastic. Before we move on to the next one, so keep in mind, let's let's read this again slowly. Fixed an issue preventing tactical and lethal equipment from auto picking up. Has been a bug since for a year and a half, right? Now let's read the next one. Fixed an issue preventing players from shooting their weapon while ledge hanging after picking up the Guardian SC kill streak. How? How is an issue that specific? They Guardian wrong, by the fix? Way. <laughs> they sure they sure did. How is that issue, which is so incredibly specific and has never happened to anyone ever in Warzone once, was fixed in this game's life cycle, because the Guardian SC came out in this game, within four months, but I couldn't auto pick up smokes for a year and a half. Yeah. Nothing ever makes sense. That's hilarious yep. to me that they figure out these insane bugs, which is why for a long time we stopped reading the, the the bug fixes because they'll fix that, but they won't fix somebody insta dying when they're holding a self revive pistol and now Mazra. You know what they did? Removed them. Right. Never fixed them. Never added it back in. They removed them. Remember yep. when they were play testing? <laughs> Remember when well, they were yeah, play they testing? Brought those back, by the way. Yes, yeah. they were play testing those on Urzikstan at COD Next or whenever that was. Somebody insta died to one that bug was still in the game. They removed them and never fixed it. Yeah. But they fix very specific issues that don't happen to anyone ever. Very weird. I want to know so badly how that happens. I'm very interested to see how did they even figure out that happened with the Guardian SC. That's yeah, the most specific bug fix I've ever read, I think. It might be, dude, because so how often is someone picking up Guardian SCs and ledge hanging and trying to shoot while ledge hanging <laughs> to even notice that? Dude, it's like, insane. When is the last time you shot your gun while ledge hanging? Because I can't remember. I can't remember. I literally can't remember. <laughs> Like, actually, maybe you'd be forgiven because the uh, Renetti was just the meta and you can shoot while ledge hanging that. Fair. Besides that, though, I'm not shooting while ledge hanging almost ever, let alone God, after it's picking insane. up a Guardian SC that's spelled wrong. I just don't. Yeah, it's very weird. It's very weird. And that, too. Yeah, they didn't fix the plate dropping bug bug for the entire season. All of season two, that was bugged. It took yeah. him 60 days to fix that. Yeah. Weird. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, I would just love to know what what happens there, um, as to how a basic bug like running over a smoke and it not auto picking up stays in the game for that long. Very weird. It is weird. Yeah, and and yeah, I, I like that you pointed out the timetable. Bugs that no one has ever encountered except one dev once fixed within a week. This is probably only broken since season three, by the way. And then another bug that's been in the game for one month and for one year and four months also finally gets fixed. W finally. So it is so Either nice way. though, man. It's so nice running it's over great. those and grabbing them. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Huge. So good change, but I mean, took one year, three months and like three weeks too long uh, actually th this is a type of bug that should be fixed within a week it's immediately obvious that it's a bug so you don't have to like pick up a guardian sc get on the back of an atv shoot twice with a renetti with the conversion kit and then try to throw your guardian down on the ground to notice it's not that guardian if you just run over a lethal and it doesn't pick up you already know it's a bug. So like, I don't know how this happened, but whatever, let's move on. Anyways, congratulations. Um, it is actually working though. So that's good. Uh, let's see any other bug fixes that are relevant. Oh yeah. This one is fix an issue preventing one shot protection from functioning in ranked resurgence. So yeah, we were still able to be one shot down in ranked, um, with the new oh, sniper. Yeah. Uh, Tanner got downed in this way despite being full health. They have fixed that issue. Uh, I believe it, by the way. Um, although I was watching Iron play this uh, morning, and he was using the, the new sniper on ranked, and he wasn't getting one-shot downs, but he was wallbanging through anything he wants, and everyone in chat was like, this is crazy. Is this a bug or is this a feature? Do you have you heard about this? Like wall banging, like solid concrete walls. Yeah, that's like what reliably. 
isn't that what happened to you in that game we were playing, or did that happen to Cope? Cope got Cope. okay. Cope got wall banged yeah. through things. Yeah, the the laser barrel um, on the moors, the charge barrel. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know if it's a bug or feature either, but it will essentially pen through anything. Yeah, full walls. You'll one shot someone. So I no idea. I mean, it's got like two thousand velocity, a one shot kill, and then also pens through anything. I feel like that's a bug. But. Yeah, I don't have it high enough level to have like read that attachment, but it could be the case that it's intended to have better pen. Yeah. But if so, the pen is too good right now because it was like disgusting, like maybe multiple walls. Even I was watching iron get like wall bang kills through. It was really gross. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Be wary of that. But anyway, um, nonetheless, you won't get one shot anymore in ranked. That's good. Um, let's see. This is an interesting one to fix an issue preventing the red outline on the border of the mini map to display when under the effects of an enemy advanced UAV. So I guess if somebody had an advanced UAV, you didn't know before because that was bugged. Oh, it wasn't showing yeah. the outline. Yeah. So that's good that that shows now. Uh, here's another one. I'm going to read this verbatim quote. Fixed an issue causing too many and UAV towers to spawn in ranked play resurgence. Mm. So I assume yeah, those too many and too UAV many, towers. Yeah. Yeah, UAV towers, I guess. So um, that's interesting. They should fix the issue where there are way too many kill streaks still on the map in ranked play. That'd be nice. That would be good. Yeah. So. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the ninth. And then we also got another patch. Yesterday, when Wednesday, the 10th of April, and it was a small patch. And in fact, there was only one change and it was to the Renetti handgun. Wow. Specifically the Jack Ferocity, Ferocity carbine kit. And it changed a lot. I'm not going to read any of it, but it was nerfed a lot and it's probably not worth using now. Yeah. So the Renetti meta is done. Uh, for example, <laughs> Max damage used to be 36, now it's 28. So yeah, it's there were other nerfs as well. Yeah. Not going to read them all, but it was basically ruined. You should use an SMG again now. Yeah. yeah. Um, J-God so. did a little bit of testing. Basically, average close range time to kill is like 650 milliseconds, which is actually still competitive. It's not bad, yeah. But I'm pretty sure the gun still has worse mobility than like the HRM and other SMGs, so there's no reason to run a gun that's slower. Terrible aim down sight speed. That uh, That is slower and also kills slower. And it's its first damage range was nerfed a lot too and it has more of a damage drop off so yeah don't use it definitely yeah, don't use it pretty anymore much don't use it yeah just go back to the hrm so yeah Renee is now nerfed there you go um and that was it for the patches there so not a ton to talk about uh with those patches but i mean again i just can't believe i'm auto picking up smokes now it's fantastic i never thought i'd see the day you're right we just never I'm expected kidding, it to yeah. happen Dead ass. I did not think it was going to happen until we got that like was um, Warzone Five. That was one of the bugs. Every single time last year in Al Mazra, when a new season would come out, or yeah, we'd get a new season update because we only got two updates a season: the season and the season reloaded. Um, we would go through the patch notes and we would say, "Guess what didn't change? You still don't auto pick up ammo after you die and come back and grab your guns, and you still right. don't auto pick up tacticals and lethals." So this was probably the most annoying bug to us for the last year more more important or most importantly because it was the easiest thing to determine and fix it happens yeah. to every single player right. every single game they play <laughs> exactly. so it shouldn't have taken this long that's why it was so annoying right w Cause, yeah because yeah so anyway, i i could talk about that for another hour but i won't um that's our next patreon episode we'll be on yeah we'll talk about that it'll more be on how insane it is that this was a bug for one year and also <laughs> four months. Uh, yeah, and then one other quick update from uh, Call of Duty, at COD Updates on Twitter on April 8th, they tweeted this. Our team is aware of an issue causing a slight optic misalignment with the Moore's sniper rifle, the new sniper, which may cause shots that appear on target to miss. We scheduled a fix for this to be released in a future game update. Now, to my knowledge... 
I might have skipped over it. They might have actually fixed this. No, already. they didn't. They have not fixed it. And it's for they every optic. So yet. if you use default optic, if you change the optic, every single one is bugged and the sight is slightly off. Yeah. That so. that guy earlier, though, that was probably okay. cheating, didn't have issues. Hitting us with a charge barrel from 300 meters away while we were all sprinting across an open field and he never yeah. missed a shot one time ever. Yeah. He didn't have yeah. any trouble with it. Yeah, that's, yeah. So speaking of which, next section here, news and upcoming changes. So we got some tweets. Got some tweets to go over. Do you know when, okay, because there was one like band wave, I guess, recently of 58,000 accounts. And then there was another one of 27,000 accounts. So I took it as the 27 was just posted first. And then they said the 58, which was just adding on to the 27. But I really don't know. Yeah, who knows? So 58,000 or 58 plus 27,000 accounts were banned this week in COD across Warzone and MW3. And Activision, an uh, uh, Activision rep had a statement. Be wary of bold claims made by cheaters trying to sell subscriptions to their wares. Bro said wares like we're at a bazaar <laughs> in Saudi Arabia in the 12th century. Okay. Team Ricochet has been, that's Ted Timmons making that statement because he's been playing too much Pokemon or some other game where they say wares. Team Ricochet has been launching, don't tell me what games you're playing, Ted. Team Ricochet has been launching a series of targeted cheat vendor enforcements, resulting in over 58,000 detected accounts banned yesterday. More ban waves are expected. So, okay. W. That's cool. Um, I have no frame of reference for how many players that is, of course. We don't know. But it's yeah. not 58,000 individuals, as we know. Because cheaters don't just use one account. Especially in Warzone which is free to play. Many of them have multiple accounts. And even if they don't, then when they get permaban, they just make a new account. So yeah, yeah 58,000 accounts is always going to be, it's always going to sound like more than it is, but still a band wave. That's nice. Um, and on this topic, engine owning made a tweet. And this is what the Activision rep was referring to about to be wary of. Engine Oding, which is the biggest cheap provider for COD, at least the most well-known one. I don't know if they're actually the biggest. They probably are. They tweeted this. The COD update's anti-cheat received some new detections for various cheats. When the driver's running those scans, the user mode part of the anti-cheat detects the scan done by the kernel driver is cheating behavior, resulting in innocent players getting banned. In simple terms, the anti-cheat detected the anti-cheat as a cheat. Yeah, they were they were doing some claims on the TL, but that's just obviously a lie. Yeah, they were doing obviously. some claims because everyone would be banned if that were what if Ricochet was banning itself, everyone would be banned. But not yeah, everyone was banned. It's weird so that I Ricochet don't know how was. They could make this claim. Yeah, it's wow. weird that Ricochet was banning itself, but only people that had unlocked tools were getting banned. But yeah, totally, uh, totally just innocent, randomized players, yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, what's been going around is like, it's not official from Call of Duty or Activision, but the latest massive ban waves were mostly targeted towards players using unlocked tools. Um that's been the biggest one by far. I think it kind of started earlier in the week or maybe late last week, earlier in the week. There's a guy whose name is Bams. Don't know who he is. He's apparently a big creator. He's got a bunch of Twitter followers. Um, but he had claimed that he got falsely permanently banned on COD. And then a couple days later, it came out about the ban waves. And a lot of people were saying, oh, it's probably because this guy uses an, unlo an unlock tool. And like he even admitted to that somewhere too. He's like, I mean, using an unlock tool is not cheating. I don't know why people still think this. Uh, it doesn't matter what you think. Your opinion does not matter. Activision thinks it's a cheat. You're going to get banned for it. There's a very high chance you're going to get banned for it. So if you don't want to risk your account getting banned, don't do it. Just don't do it. Doesn't matter what you think. It's it's not aimbot. They should be going after the cheaters. Yeah, 
But also, it doesn't matter, because they've made it very clear always, and this has always been the case, that it's considered cheating. Figure it out. And it's so obvious. Half of these are done through yeah. cheat websites. Of course, they're going to detect it as some sort of a cheat. Right. I mean, you're level one, and you have everything unlocked in the game. Uh, and we can go down a whole, you know, a whole rabbit hole of... Are they actually, you know, because like, because now people keep saying, well, it's like it's because Warzone's free to play and it's so hard for casuals to get into because they have to unlock all this stuff. So it's easier for them to just use an unlock tool. Okay. Okay. But that's anyways, I mean, it's a free video. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> so one of the guys that got banned was a CDL player. Um, he's on Seattle oh, Surge, no. I guess. Abuza. He was permanently oh, banned, Lisa, yeah. and he said it's yep. because he used an unlock tool. And he went on to saying, like, he's like, nobody has time. He's like, if if they're actually banning unlock tools, then 90% of the CDL should be banned right now. Or he said something like that. That's a dumb thing for him to say, because if 90% of the CDL is using unlock tools, like he claims, but they didn't get banned... Well, wait, why did you get banned, but they didn't, if you're all using unlock mm. tools? By your own accounting, they should all be banned also, but they're not. Yeah. Why and is that the case? Curious. Bro cheats, is my point. Or he's wrong about how well, many people yeah, use I mean, unlock he probably tools doesn't in cheat. the CDL. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I mean, he'll get his account unbanned anyways, because, like, they have connections easily, so he'll get it reversed because he knows people. Um, but if you're some random guy listening and you also use an unlock tool and don't cheat and got banned, your account's banned. You're not going to get any help, but he will. He'll, you are not He'll 100% yeah. get his account back. But, uh, yeah, then I even saw one of those, like, CDL guys, like, uh, I don't know, one of the guys that called this an idiot or, like, a, you know, something like that. Um, right. I saw him tweet something and he's like, there's no way CDL pros are actually using unlock tools on their official CDL accounts. Right? Like that's insane. And it yeah. is. So these kids are so dumb. They're so stupid. That's a, yeah. That's what really an insane thing to do. to do to risk. So mm -hmm. God, these kids are so stupid. Um, drug addicts. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, so that's been going around. So that's supposedly what most <laughs> yeah, of the bands were for, uh, is unlock tooling. So a lot of like, content creators but they're like you know like the bad ones that aren't real popular all their accounts have been banned probably yeah uh and then yeah charlie until then went on to say uh, according to one of the activision reps if you've been permanently banned and caught activision has stated that permanent bans are final and there are no false permanent bans which is just not true really i mean i guess you can argue well I don't know, but we know somebody, some guy who was permanently banned and less than six months later, he finally got his account back and was unbanned. It's MP, right? MP control ward. Yeah. But I guess they can say there are no false permanent bans because technically his ban wasn't permanent since they unbanned <laughs> yeah, him, but it originally guess, was a yeah. permanent ban. So I feel like they can say that, but uh, there are definitely false perma bans in this game. 100%. Probably this extremely, extremely too, rare, though. though. It does not happen often. It, that is an extremely rare thing, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, just so we're clear, there are false permanent bans. I mean, we know one guy who has happened to. Yeah. This policy could have changed since then, though, because that was quite a while ago that he got banned and unbanned. That was uh, an MW19, yeah. So, yeah. So, like, it could be true that now it is the case that there are virtually no false permanent bans um but i'm kind of skeptical i don't disbelieve it but i'm a little skeptical that this particular ban wave a lot of it is for unlock tools only because where is that information coming from not an official source but it's just like this particular ban wave a lot of actual content creators or like CDL players got banned. And if they're all going to say like, oh, it was an unlock tool. That's what, that's the only reason I got banned. Then they spin that narrative and then everyone believes it. What if it wasn't for an unlock tool? You know, 
I could see a ban a ban wave like the one we just had that is legitimate and everyone mm. banned is like cheating, not just unlock tooling. And if it happens to catch some big names and all the big names say, okay, what can I say yeah. to my fans to justify me getting banned? I'll just say I used an unlock tool. So they all say that because that's the obvious thing you would say. And then everyone just takes it on faith that that is in fact why they got banned. Maybe not. Maybe bad boy Beeman was onto something, dude. Maybe they are all cheating or all the people that did get banned are cheating actually. Um, because again, like we've talked about, even if you just used an unlock tool, when you get the software to do an unlock tool, you open a you open engine owning exe and you have a whole dashboard that pulls up and it has everything there. Do you want to turn on wall hacks? You tick a box and that's it. Boom, wall hacks are on. Or you don't tick the box. Do you want to turn on aimbot? Boom, tick the box or don't tick the box. And then somewhere in the same menu is, hey, do you want to unlock everything? And then you say, sure, you tick that box. So we are to be, we are to believe that they went to engineowning.com. They added the cheat to their cart. They went to checkout. They checked out with PayPal. They then launched the program, ran it as administrator, pulled up the dashboard, saw all of those items, all those little options, and then they only checked the unlock all camos box. Well, I don't think it works. It? I don't think it works okay. that way exactly. I don't think all because there I are websites that just that do does. unlock tools, and I don't think it's not anything like that. It's like I think it's something you do in the game files. I'm trying to look. So like, um, so engine owning's default cheat comes with unlock all, but I know for sure there are other ways to do it where you don't like download a whole cheat program like that. Okay, because I've been told multiple times when I talked about this, because I originally thought they were like two separate things, that that was not the case. So I don't know. Um, maybe all of them were not using engine owning and they were downloading the only unlock cheat, I guess, but not all of them. And again, yeah, people are in chat in chat right now are saying it really is like you download all the cheats or none of them, basically. Maybe there are some cheat providers that d only provide unlock tools, but... Um, I don't know what they are. And Unlock all, yeah. There's a there's a website that they only do this. It's eighty dollars, okay. and that's all it is. And it just comes with all of that. It doesn't come Got with it. any sort of cheat. So I think those are actually the most popular ones. Because if anyone's like actually trying to be a, like a content creator, and it's like some random TikTok kid, he's not gonna he's not that dumb to download engine owning to launch that just to do the unlock tool. They're doing it a different way, like this. I think. Like I don't like. Yeah, I, I, I don't think most of them do it that way, I feel like. Yeah, maybe not. I Yeah, I mean, Tanner and I wouldn't know because we've never even looked into it because we don't cheat or use unlock tools. Uh, so, I yeah, I wouldn't know. But um, I guess there are some that are only unlock tools. Sure, that's fine. Um, but I could see a lot of people, again, like if they do want to do an unlock tool, they're just like, okay, I want to unlock everything. And they think of, all right, where do I get that? Oh, engine owning's a cheat website. Uh, Engineowning.com, boom. And then they just do yeah. it, like without looking into it. I could see that too. So it's probably a mix. Uh, to what degree, I don't know. But anyways, the point is, no official source has said, oh, this band yeah. primarily targeted unlock all only people. True. So I don't know, man. I don't know. With how good these cheats are and how bad Ricochet obviously is, I'm a little more on the side of, like, there are probably some fairly large content creators that might be cheating. I used to be vehemently opposed to this idea. And I think for the very biggest streamers, I still am. Like, if you're, like, Nick Merckx, you have too much to risk if you cheat. Because if you get caught, you're just done. But even like decently sized creators, like partnered creators, like, um, I don't know. I don't think Kaylee for Kaylee Renee, I don't think she cheats, but 
someone like her size i could see content creators that are about that size that popularity i could see more of them cheating than i would originally have thought you know a year ago i guess yeah i don't know man especially with how good the, with how good they are and how because think about it if you are a kaylee sized content creator you play warzone Every single, you play for six hours a day uh, on the low end. You are dying to cheaters every single game. Or, excuse me, every single day. Like, and sometimes every single game, depending on how bad the rash is at the time. I could see a lot of them getting fed up and being like, okay, if cheating is this rampant, it must be easy to get away with it. I'm going to start cheating. Screw it. And then they, and then they do it. I wouldn't be that surprised. So I don't know. I've got a, uh, I've got my tinfoil hat on a little bit more now, but anyway, that doesn't mean that everyone that got banned like Bams or Abuza or any other big creator necessarily got permud for cheating. However, I think unlock all tool is sus. And if you're willing to do that, you are more likely to be willing to cheat. Doesn't mean you did cheat but it does mean you're more likely. Uh, and maybe some of them were also cheating. I, I don't know, or have also cheated. Hard to say, very hard to say. But anyway, that's been going around. Uh, just a couple funny things there we wanted to point out. So, um, and we've seen cheaters today. So cheating doesn't seem to be as bad right now as it was before season three, though. I will also say that. Um, so I think this band wave did do something, w. but not everything. So anyway, a couple other things here. Uh, this is from Charlie Intel. Although a lot of people have been talking about this. Call of Duty has reached its new highest peak player count of the year, the year 2024 on Steam, surpassing 166,000 concurrent players on Sunday. So... That is uh, pretty interesting, although not terribly interesting or surprising. We all kind of knew that Rebirth was going to bring a lot of people back, and it seems like it did. Yeah, but, it did a work. Um, yeah, yeah. But keep in mind, on Steam for Call of Duty, the all-time peak player count was 17 months ago, and that was 491,000 which is quite a bit more than 166,000. That was the day Warzone 2 launched, and then immediately 250,000 people stopped playing by the right. next day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As they, it, yeah, and they were ahead of the curve. Um, yeah, so I mean, but, yeah. yeah. Warzone 2 was brand new, and by, let's see, by January 2nd, the numbers were already down to what they were at the peak a few days ago, yeah. And then they yeah. trended downwards the entire year. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, Reaver's pretty popular. Not terribly surprising. Very curious to see how long that will hold. Um, but we will keep you guys posted. And then the last thing here, this was uh, on the 5th of April. Insider Gaming evidently had written an article. I'm not going to pull up the whole article because there's not really much to say about it other than this tweet. Insider Gaming also known as Tom Henderson, the only reputable leaker and friend of the pod, reports that Call of Duty 2024 will likely be revealed in early June prior to the Xbox showcase. And then when the Xbox game showcase happens, even more info will be shared. Uh, a multiplayer reveal is expected in August for COD 2024 along with a zombies reveal sometime after that. So according to Tom Henderson, who is very often correct about these things, we're going to get some COD 2024 deets, probably just like a little cinematic teaser with the name officially announced, which is going to be Call of Duty Gulf War, sometime prior to the Xbox showcase, which should be in early June. So, you know, six more weeks from now. Um, and then we'll start getting more info to trickle out after that. So I don't know how early the the title of the game is normally um, revealed. 
I feel year. like usually I'm May or June. Remembering stuff like this. I think it's May or June. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna get the official reveal for the next Call of Duty title before we get Urzik Stan ranked. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Yeah. Pretty dope, yeah. man. Yeah, we will actually. W. W. So anyway, um. All right. Other than that, boys and girls, that's pretty much it. Not too much going on this week, as we said. However, we will nonetheless be back on Saturday for a fun and exciting episode about Call of Duty. W picking up smokes automatically. Patreon.com slash the drop shop. Best way to support the show. You also get ad free and early access on all of our public episodes. And you support the show, which we desperately need. Taxes are coming up. Patreon.com slash the drop shot. Stay humble. Stumble. <laughs>